Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can make the wiring of the digital inputs on the Modicon M173 optimized. So let's go to the presentation. So basically, da -da 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 -da. so this is the M173 optimized. Uh, of course, you have some LEDs and all the different IOs here in the back the button and the outputs over here but what we're going to focus now is on the digital inputs okay so something important that in case you don't know is that all the digital inputs that we have on the plc are dry contacts so by that it means that you cannot apply power supply otherwise you can damage the, the device so this is what it means over here okay so we pay attention on that one so um so how you can connect these digital inputs so basically you just need to close with gnd on the m172 and then you just close this switch that you're going to use a push button or whatever you have so um in order to identify where are the pins so there is two parts on the let's go one over here so there are two rows the one in the top is related to the digital input. Okay. And you have this slot for the digital input. You can use the digital the ground from here for them to close with the switches that you have. So if we go back here, the presentation. So this would be the idea. In my case, I don't have too much space for a push button or so I use only the normally close or normally open. Okay. So here you can see that I have this. And I can go to the BIOS. Digital input. So in my case, I have the connection to digital input too. Then I'm going to use the push button. As you can see now it's in, it's in one. Then I have the push button, the emergency stop button in the digital input. Four. As I as, as this one is a normal close, and uh, this normal state is one. So if I touch the push button, it's going to be zero. Okay. So this interface is the is the one for the BIOS parameter, and it's configurable over there. And I'm going to go back. So how we can program this? So I have my N173 over here. I was doing a few things. Okay, so going to close a few things. So the first thing that we need to do is to go to the IO mapping local. And here we just need to define the variables that we're going to use, the name. So this one is going to be this is the input run digital input digital input run digital input uh, emergency emergency okay so now what I'm going to do is to compile here on the programming we should be able to find the variables here in the IO mapping so I have emergency and run. So in order to see if this is working, what we can do is to create a new program. Uh, let's say ladder testing. I already created something called testing. So let's go here. Uh, this is something I was checking out. Add new program digital inputs time. So here I just drag and drop this. Maybe they can change here 
negate delete I can put for example here and then I'm going to use uh, motor something quick so we can test it I delete the value of x motor So let's go to the connection, going to download all, yes, and then we can see what's going on. Just unloading everything. Guess I have already defined that on the configuration. So we can go to the watch. So you can see I was doing a few things. So run emergency motor. Here you can see that the motor is on, the motor is not on the emergency stop. Okay, so everything is all right so if i put this in true so i press let's go to the full view so i have all this let's show you if you see it but i have this button it's true and the other one is in normally open Bear with me, don't load in. Okay, so there we go. So normally close. Now as you can see the motor is running. I disconnect. Now I'm gonna press the emergency. And there we go. Okay. Okay, so this is how you can test basically how to use the digital input. In my case, I'm using something like this. Do I have the So here are the catalog for the harmony for the push buttons. Okay. Um, but here you have the push button already connected to the normally open. This one to the normally close. And this is the input six. And this is what I've been doing. Okay. So with this one, I run something. And then with this one, I disconnect. Um, okay. Good. So this is it if I'm wrong. So I already show you how to make the real success. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, read the value for the digital input, normally open and normally close. That is what I'll be doing, which is this one over here, just to show you how it works. With a view, just go over here, turn on, then with this one, disconnect. It's normally close. Okay, so um, this is it how we can uh, wire in all the digital inputs uh, for the push button okay on the n173 just remember that you need to use the ground in order to close the circuit um, to digital input to know the apply voltage because otherwise you may damage the equipment okay so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one